Mickey, do you, if this was a boxing match, would you say you won on points? Oh, look, I, I think um, I think I was I was happy to at the back end of, of, with our performance. Um, I thought we needed to execute better on day one. I thought when we came back after the after the rain back, we played some very very good cricket. So um, yeah, really happy with where we at. Um, whether we whether we take more than South Africa out of it, I'm, you know, I'm I'm not sure. Um, we just we just really focused on on our performance, and, and and I think our execution after day one was was really good. So we were pretty clinical, so pretty happy. What do you think went What do you think went wrong on day one? Were they, were they too nervous? Was it were they tense? Were they underdone? <laughs> Um, no, so certainly not underdone. We, we had, you know, the, the preparation around our, our, our quick bowlers had been had been pretty matric- meticulous. Uh, Pato and and Sids had come in with four four shield games under their belt. Um, Hilfi was was the one that we were always going to we were always going to work with. You know, a, a him coming out of, out of Champions League, but he he managed to get one shield game in. So, I, I think it was just it was just the hype around the series, I guess. A little bit of nerves. I thought we were a little bit tentative. But after that, we corrected. We, we corrected really well, you know. But against a really good side like South Africa, you've got to be you, you've got to be on the on the money from from the first ball. Um, so so we, we probably weren't, and that's something we'll address going into Adelaide. Um, Mickey, there's still obviously a week until the Adelaide Test. But uh, what are your early thoughts on Shane Watson and his potential availability? Um, we'll we'll see down the line. Uh, what has had to, ha- had two nets. He's come through them very very well. Um, he did a bit of running today and, and, and came through that well. He's having a bowl on Friday. Um, and, uh, and we'll see later in the week, you know, or into next week, exactly, exactly where, where, where Watto is. Jim, uh, in regards to Shane, would you consider him just as a specialist batsman? Oh, look, I, you know, we, we'll have to sit down and, and consider what we think is the best 11 um, uh, going into that Adelaide test and... and Shane would come in for for a huge amount of consideration. Definitely, you know, um, he's he's a quality act. He's an international brand, Shane Watson. So, if, if Shane Watson was fit, we'd have to we'd have to definitely consider that. Mark. Um, Mickey, you, you named uh, Mitchell Stark as twelfth man in this test. Did you feel like as the game progressed, you had the right balance in your attack? I, I, look, I, I was happy with with the with the work that, that that all our all our bowlers did. As I say, after day one, I, I was really happy. You know, I thought I thought their, their speeds were definitely up. I thought our lines were a lot better. I thought we built a lot more pressure. So, I'm content. I'm definitely definitely with the way we went. M- Mitchell's playing a shield game at the moment. Um, let's see how he goes in that one, and um, it might give us another option come Adelaide. You know, so. Uh, you know, the, the more depth that we keep creating, the, the, the happier I am. Oh, my question was going to be about Stark as well and whether he comes into calculations for the variety and also, you know, to, to help the spinner out perhaps, the, you know, creating a bit of rough for him. Yeah, uh, it's, a, it, uh, it's a good question and, and, and certainly, certainly worth some consideration um, going into Adelaide. Uh, you know, probably with that rough that might be created could, could be quite good. Um, but Stark, he's also on song at the moment. He's, he's swinging it nicely. He's bowling with good pace. So um, it's, another, it's another option for us and, and a nice one, bearing in mind he's a left armour. Sure. Mickey, just on Michael Clark, it, it appears the captaincy, he's going to another level because of he has a captain. Can you just give us a, your assessment? Oh, look, he, he's, I mean, you know, words, words can't, can't describe um, how, how good he's been since, since he's been captain of the last year. He's been simply outstanding, you know, and he, and he's, I think that, I think the key is that it's not, it's not the runs he's getting because he's, he's a class batsman and that, you know, he was always going to get the runs. The key is the way he prepares, the meticulous preparation he goes through. He doesn't leave anything to chance. He, he, he puts the work in and, and because of that, he's a great example to the dressing room and, and, and also getting the reward through, through performance. Uh, just quick, Rob Quine, he only got nine or so, but he, he's feet, moved the feet well. He didn't seem phased at all. Is he, if, if Watson's not, um, not up, he, is he right to go? Yeah, look, I, I think he is. He, didn't, he certainly didn't look out of his depth. I think it's the best nine I've ever seen. Um, but, but um, look, he's proved that, 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 that he belongs and um, uh, certainly, certainly wasn't found wanting. You know, certainly wasn't out of his depth. He's been really good around the dressing room too, so he's fitted in really well. Mickey, the Gabba pitch surprised quite a few people in terms of it uh, being quite plas- more placid than people thought. Have you any idea at all 
what, what you're going to face at the, at the Adelaide Oval? Yeah, look, Adelaide's been, been pretty consistent. Adelaide's, Adelaide's a very, very good wicket. Um, it starts off very good. Um, and, and, you know, if, if you can, like, I, I, th I thought this wicket, had, had the game gone the five days, would have been an excellent test wicket. I think, you know, if we didn't lose that one day to rain where it was undercover, it would have deteriorated enough to, 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 produce, to, to produce something, you know. So I thought, I, thought it was a, I thought it was a very good test wicket. It was a lot slower than, than the Gab has normally been. Um, Adelaide, you know what you get. It's, you know, if you, if you, if you look at, at, at the Gabba and you probably look at Perth, the game starts off very quick and then slows up towards the back end. I think if you look at Adelaide, it's, it's almost like the subcontinent where the game st is pretty slow for three days and then, and then changes certainly with a day and a half to go. So it, it quickens up towards the back end. So you, know, you can equate it to being the best batting wicket in the world and then suddenly on day four and five, it becomes pretty difficult to bat. So big first innings is, are the way to go there. Mick, you, you've seen Justin Langer at close quarters for a year now. What, how's he going to go as a coach, do you think? And what, what are the traits that he's going to have when he, when he takes over that job? I, I, think, uh, I think Justin will go very well. You know, we certainly won't stand in his way if, 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 if that's what he wants to do. Um, Justin's, be, Justin's been, be, been outstanding. I've been very, very impressed with the way he goes about his business. He's, he's very professional plans very, very well. His work ethic is as, is as good as I've seen. He brings a huge amount of integrity to, to any dressing room and to, and to any job. So, so if, he, if he takes that, uh, and I believe there's an announcement tomorrow, if, if, if he takes the, the, that, um, that Wacker job, um, I'd be very, very happy because, uh, you know, obviously the Wacker's still pretty dear to my heart as well. And I think uh, with Justin at the helm, they can only go from strength to strength. Mickey, you know the South African team's mentality as well as anyone, better than most. Do you think they'll be disappointed with what happened here? And do you think they'll have the, the ability to, to fix what's wrong before the Adelaide test? Oh, there's no doubt they will. Um, you know, whether they were disappointed, I thought they were, I thought they were really good, obviously, in their, in, in their first innings. Um, probably caught short, you know, like, like we were when we bowled in, the fir in, in our first innings. But there's no doubting their ability. There's no doubting... The quality of that South African side, they, they're going to be on song definitely come, come, come Adelaide, no, no doubt about that. Uh, do you, but do, in saying that, do you feel like your side takes more out of this game going forwards as far as you know, taking a big step up from where we were before this game? I look, I, I'm just happy with the, way, with the way we went after day one. You know, I, think, I think there was some, some really good cricket played by, by our team and, and, and cricket played under pressure as well. We were, we were three for 40 and to see um, Cowan, Clark, and Hussey come out and get hundreds was was really nice. Wadey, Wadey came out and played well. And as I've said after day one, I thought I thought I thought we bowled really well. You know, I'm not a massive one for momentum and what you take out of the game because come Adelaide, it's a it's a fresh start. It's a it's a it's a different ground. It's a different wicket. It's it's a different preparation period. So. You know, whoever starts off well there will will gain that momentum. I'm just I'm just happy. After day one, I thought we executed a lot better. Can I just ask you one about looking at Adelaide Nathan Lyon? Um, it seemed like this morning they tried to hit him out of the attack. We we pleased with the way he came back. Yeah, I was. Uh, Nathan bowled 50 overs in the game, um, and and probably probably you know it, it, it probably clear that that they were going to go um, quite hard at Nathan early on, and 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 they did that. But I thought he. He stuck to his guns. I thought his uh, variation in his pace was was good. I thought he I thought he built some pressure. So um, I, I'm I'm happy where Nathan is, and he goes back to Adelaide. He goes back to his home pitch. So I'm comfortable that that he's in a good enough space for us.